Welcome to PE at Home. Hi Year 3 and 4, I hope you're all doing well and that you're all safe at home. Obviously some of us are still in school and you guys are learning from home. So the idea is that we're going to keep you as physically active as we possibly could during your PE times, hence your PE at Home videos. So, what will happen in each of these videos is that you will complete two tasks. One will be a fitness activity that will be run by myself, Mr Moore or Mr Shules, and you will then be doing a motor skills activity. So whether it will be fine motor skills or gross motor skills, you'll have to wait and see. But the idea is to have fun for you to give as much energy as you possibly can and all these activities can be completed while in the comfort of your own home or if you're lucky enough in your garden if it's not wet. So all that's left to be said is enjoy, put as much energy into it as you would in lesson and we can't wait to see how you get on. Good luck. So we're going to start with our warm up before we start doing our high intensity. We're going to do this and we're going to work our way through from our toes all the way to our heads so that we know we've covered as many muscle groups as we possibly can. So starting with our toes, we're going to lift up and down. So our toe raises are nice and high. Try and get right onto the ball of your foot, all the way up. Lovely. So you can see that my heels are coming off the ground and they're going back down. Now I'm going to try and hold it if I can. Oh, a little bit unstable, but I think I'm going to be okay. So now we're going to try and do it with alternates. So we're going to change each one. So we're going to look like we're kind of stepping in place. So we're still doing our toe raises, but we're stepping in place. Well done. Right, moving up the leg, we're going to do some leg sweeps. So we're going to put our toes to the sky, and we're going to get our arms ready, and we're going to sweep across and up. Swap feet, and sweep and cross. Swap feet again. I'm going to do this for a few times. Keep copying me as we go along. Lovely. Well done, guys. You're doing really well. A few more. So just so you can see what happens, if my toe points to the sky and I reach down, toe points to the sky and I reach down. Nice. Leg sweeps are done. Okay, we're moving on to the upper part of our legs. We're going to look at the top. So we're going to need to get them really high. We're going to do high knees. Now for this, we can do it standing still or we can start moving across. Possibly your front room if that's where you're doing these exercises, or maybe your bedroom, depends on where you are. Moving back and forth, few steps. Lovely, well done guys, keep going. And back again. Nice, make sure that those legs come right up to a right angle. Lovely, well done. Okay, moving on to our hips, hands on our hips please. And we are gonna do some bounces. So we're gonna bounce to our right, we're gonna bounce to our left. Well done, keep going, keep going. You might find that you want to put your arms out, and that's fine. Either way, we're just mobilising our hips. Fantastic, right, moving up to our arms. We're going to look at circles. But well, we're going to start with little circles, so we're going to start with our shoulders first, and we're going to roll them over. Bring them nice and high, as close to your ears as you can. And back, do you think we can swap ways? We're going to go back the other way. Lovely, well done. Good stuff. Okay, now we're going to make our arms a little bit shorter, but we're going to put our levers out so they're going to be short levers, moving them around. Go forward first. So our shoulders are doing the same movement, but this time we're using our arms to force them round. And we're going to make them bigger. So our arms are now at full length, and we're going to do those big circles. And you'll feel that your shoulders are still coming to your ears, but it's moved by your arms doing their circles. Well done. Keep going. Lovely, okay. And our necks, we're gonna to need to make sure that our neck is mobilized. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our ear to our shoulder. So leaning across, try not to lift your shoulder to your ear. It doesn't matter if there's a gap between. The idea is to try and just push those muscles so that they're stretched along your neck. And the other side. Nice. Well done, this is really tough sometimes. This is actually probably the most painful. And down. And we're getting our chin to our chest, holding it for as long as possible. And then we're gonna look to the sky. So we're gonna leave it up. Now I'm gonna try a slightly different one. We're gonna put our chin to our shoulder. And this time we're gonna roll our chin down our chest and to the other side. Oh, let's do that again. From the shoulder to the other shoulder, down and round. One more time, down and round. 
Right, I think we're ready for our hit activity. Let's go. So, what is high intensity interval training? Well, the idea is that you guys are going to be doing an activity for about 11 minutes with 30 seconds on and 30 seconds rest. The idea is that during those 30 seconds when you are completing those activities, you are pushing yourself. You're giving everything you've got 100% involved in that activity. Now there are going to be times when there are tasks that are slightly more difficult and hopefully we'll give you an adapted version during those videos. But you're going to be copying myself, Mr Moore Mr Schultz and you're going to be working as hard as you possibly can. Take those 30 seconds to catch your breath, get yourselves recuperated and then smash the next 30 seconds. You've got this. Good luck. That's it guys, we're going to start with jogging on the spot as you can see. You've got 30 seconds, let's give it your all. That's it, keep going. Only a little while left. Brilliant, well done, you've made your rest period. So, 30 seconds to get your rest, to get your breath back and for you to get ready for your next activity. Next workout coming up is going to be star jumps. Get yourselves ready for star jumps. Coming in five, three, one, and let's go. That's it. Keep going, guys. You're doing so well. left keep going remember 30 seconds flat out as much as you can high intensity yay rest period two well done guys that's two activities out of the way well done So next one coming up is going to be the plank. So get yourselves on the floor ready to take on the plank. 30 seconds of holding. That's it. Keep that body nice and straight. Maintain the position. Don't worry if you're wobbling. It's fine. Just hold it as long as you can. seconds you're doing so well keep going rest period well done so you guys are doing so well that's three activities out of the way they are only going to get harder though so keep up the intensity if not increase the intensity so coming up next is high knees you're going to need to bring your hands from above your head down to your high knee and then continue going you are going to swap legs halfway through good luck and enjoy go really keep going guys you're doing so well And swap legs, that's it, moving to the other side. Rest period, yay! Well done, you are doing so well. Once again, keep the intensity up. You've still got some time left. You can keep pushing yourself. Remember, I want to see 100% involvement. Coming up next is going to be crunches. Crunches, bringing your arm, elbow to your knee as you keep doing your crunches with Mr. Moore. Ready? Get on the floor now. Go! That's it, bringing the opposite knee to your elbow. 
This is using your core muscles. So keep going. See how many you can get done in those 30 seconds. Brilliant. I hope you're keeping up with Mr. Moore. Rest period. Well done. Once again, you are pushing it and you are smashing this HIIT workout. Well done. Coming up next is going to be cycling from a shoulder stand. So you need to be on your back with your legs raised in the air, ready to pedal to the middle. Okay, with Mr. Shaws, get yourselves ready. You've got eight seconds left. And go! Keep going, keep those legs moving. Probably one of the most fun activities we've got going on in our HIIT workout. Keep going. Rest period. Now I'm pretty sure that Mr. Shaws is thankful for 30 seconds rest. So while you're resting, don't forget, catch your breath back. If you've got a drink, have a quick drink and prepare yourself for the next activity. Coming up next are squats. That means you're gonna need to get your knees into a right angle and you're gonna need to bring your arms out in front of you. Are you ready? Let's go. Keep your body as central as you possibly can and try and get down as low as you can. You're doing great, not long left. Rest period, oh, thank goodness, because I can tell you that was burning my legs. Doing great guys. So coming up next is going to be mountain climbers with Mr. Shaw. So you're going to need to be on all four facing the floor. And remember you're bringing those knees to your chest as quickly as you possibly can. Get yourselves ready. And go. That's it. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Keep those knees nice and high. Well done, last few seconds, you've got this. And rest, well done, you are doing amazing. So coming up is going to be bouncing in a square. So you're gonna imagine you've got an imaginary square set out on the floor and you're gonna bounce on each corner. Get yourselves ready. Go. That's it. Now you can make your square as big as you like or as small as you like. If you're making a small one, try and go as fast as you can. If you're making a bigger one, really make those explosive jumps side to side. That's it. Keep going. Last few seconds. Yay, rest period, well done. You are really doing amazing. So, we're coming up next, it's gonna be skaters. Now, skaters are gonna be where you're bouncing from side to side and you're swinging your leg behind. You'll notice from the video once you start watching. But have a go, get those nice big strides in. Coming up in five. One. Go. That's it. 
that's it. Really make those strides as big as you can, but make sure that leg is going completely behind. Great, you're doing so good. Keep going. Great work, guys. Yay, we made it to the last rest period of today. So you've got 30 seconds, obviously, to catch your breath, rest, but this is your last rest station. You have been doing amazing. So coming up is your last activity, which is going to be scissor kicks. You're going to need to be on the floor facing the ceiling and get your legs up in front of you, about a 45 degree angle. You've got this, you ready? Last one. Go! That's it. Switching those legs between each other. Keep your back flat on the floor. Make sure your shoulders are on the floor and make sure your head is rested back as well. You've got this. This is the last activity. You're doing amazing. We're incredibly proud of you, everything you've done today. So keep this high intensity up for the last few seconds. You've got this. Now we're going to work on our warm down, which is very important after the strenuous activities that we've been doing. We're going to work on our neck muscles first. We're just going to go to one side, and we're going to bring it to the other side, and then just round and forward at the front. And you're going to do that for 10 seconds. Now we are going to work on our shoulders. I am going to place my arms around the back and I'm going to pull my shoulders backwards and holding it in a certain position. And 10 seconds, we're going to hold that. And now we're going to move to our arms. You're going to put one arm out in front, the other arm's going to come round to your elbow and we're just going to pull it across and hold it there for 10 seconds. We'll do 10 seconds on each arm. Now we're going to swap arms, other arm out, arm underneath the elbow, and we're going to pull it across and hold it there for 10 seconds. And you give your arms a little shake off. Now we're just going to move down to our hips now. I'm going to have my legs slightly apart, shoulder width apart, and I'm just going to run my leg, my hand, all the way down, and I'm going to hold it at the furthest point, when I can feel my legs stretching. And I'm going to hold that for five seconds on each leg. And then the other leg. Now onto our legs. I am going to put one foot over the other, keeping my legs nice and straight, my knees locked in, and I'm going to do the same motion as walking my fingertips all the way down and holding it at the bottom for five seconds. And swap me. Try and go down as far as you can. That's our warm down completed. And you will feel the benefits the next day as it does help your muscles and your body recover very quickly. Now we're gonna move on to our motor skills. By year three or four, this is the swinging challenge. The equipment we'll be using is anything soft like a towel, you can use like a dressing gown, a tea towel, we have toilet roll here, there'd be the equipment we're knocking it off. We are using the toilet rolls, we can use teddy bears or blocks, anything soft in your house. Right, challenge one is two feet on the floor with the towel in a swinging motion looking to hit the toilet rolls.
Challenge two, we are gonna use the same equipment, but I'm gonna use one foot hopping through with the swinging motion to try and knock the toilet bowl over. Final challenge, we're gonna still use the same equipment, but we're gonna use one foot and one hand. Okay, to knock all the toilet bowl. I would just like to say a big congratulations to year three and four for completing our episode one. We are so proud of you and I'm looking forward to seeing how you complete episode two.